Hello everyone and welcome to another invasive species video. Now unfortunately I'm gonna have to talk really fast. It's a really bad day out today but this is the opportune time to identify this species for removal ideally at a later date. Ideally by someone other than you. I won't be able to tell you guys how to remove this invasive species only to identify it and that's because well this is a tree. Now I apologize if there's any background or wind noise but as I said, this is the most opportune time to identify this species. I don't know how long it's going to last. And I would have to wait an entire another year to wait for this opportunity to come again. And with invasive species like this, I don't really want to have to wait that long. Now this is a Norway maple tree. And unfortunately there are native maples. So it can be a little tricky to identify this plant. So there are a couple things that you need to be able to notice in order to properly identify it. So if you take a look at this plant, it looks very similar to other maples. Notably, it looks less similar to red maple, which has a three-lobed leaf, but it looks quite similar to sugar maples, which if you want to know what that looks like, take a look at the Canadian flag. It's the leaf on it. The most identifying characteristic of this plant is the leaf shape. It has sort of five distinct lobes and these seventh on where the leaf meets the stem. This is important. It has more sharply defined lobes than a sugar maple does. But that's not the best identifier. The best identifier that this species is unique to is that if you pull the leaves off the stem and squeeze, the resulting sap will be milky white. I don't know if it's picking up that well on camera, but that's all you need to know. If you give this a squeeze and it comes out as milky white, I don't know how good you guys can see that, but it is coming out to be milky white. All other maple species, as far as I know, are clear. Now notably, not all trees are going to have leaves that reach to the bottom where you can grab a leaf and see if the sap is milky white. Also, from what I can tell, it doesn't last that long that the sap is milky white. It might. My information isn't always as great as it would. I'd like it to be, but it still stands that some of these you might not even be able to reach the leaves, which is where the second identifying thing comes in, which is why I needed to do this video now. As far as I can tell, all native maple species turn green later than the Norway maples, at least where I am. These are some native, probably red maples, and these are Norway maples. Now this won't last long, but it means that you can identify a maple tree that you can't reach the leaves of by sort of doing pattern recognition and cross-identifying and figuring out that this tree is the same as that tree right there. Now, as I said before, please take caution in trying to remove this yourself. I can't stop you, but I would recommend against it. Keep in mind, taking out trees is a dangerous activity. Logging, if I recall, is one of the most dangerous occupations in the world, and they're professionals. Unless you know what you're doing, you really shouldn't be taking out trees by yourself. But if you can identify a tree, you could always hire someone to take it out for you. Now, those of you who are longtime viewers of the channel and have watched the giant sequoia video, which is currently my most popular video, you'll know that I said that invasive trees are rare compared to other invasive plants. But there are exceptions to that rule, and Norway maple is one of them. Well, that's all for today. Again, I hope this video wasn't too jarring. I had to raise my voice and fight through some background noise a couple of times there. At any rate, I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. See ya.